Don't stare, that's not nice. This is the nicest bathroom. Speaking my language, they have the best candles here. First of all, take it in. Look how pretty it is. It was an old church. It's a back when you with another vlog. Hope you guys are well. I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna make this part of my normal Sunday routine. I hope you like the new start to the vlog. I don't really do an intro nowadays. I kind of just go with it. But uh, yeah, that was a really cool cafe. Highly recommend that chai latte. Chef's kiss. I'm going to because you know how they say your body is 80% water. Mine is 80% tea. Have another one. This is my third, well, it won't be caffeinated, but it's my third warm drink of the day. Don't let the sunlight fool ya. It is breezy out there. So once I've made my tea, I'm going to get into work mode and do my best to edit the vlog. I'm so happy I went out all day, but I know it's gonna kick my butt today. because This is probably the last you're gonna see of me until tomorrow. I'm gonna be staring at that screen for guaranteed at least six hours. But that's okay. Anything to get the vlog out of time. I don't think I showed you when I stopped off to get this. Okay, this is not an ad, but this is the best. I don't even know what to call it because it's not a soap. You use it after you cleanse yourself to moisturize. I needed this four months ago and I said, you know what, today's the day. Mm, it smells incredible. This is called the scrubby. It exfoliates, conditions, moisturizes, does what needs to be done. They raised the price though, so that's why I was putting off buying it for so long. But I said, my skin is always dry when I come out the shower. The body wash I bought does not moisturize like I said it's supposed to. So let me get that for an extra layer. She also gave me a sample of rose soap. Told you they're always giving me rose soap. I've never seen them wrap the lid separate from the candle or whatever. Oh, it smells like a really expensive men's cologne. I can't wait to burn it tonight. It's gonna be a whole vibe. First of all, don't mind. Hashtag lag. This is what I use to clean my yoga mat. The scented things are in here. So my yoga mat spray, candle lighter. I have so many tea lights for whenever I'm filming to set a vibe. They're from Ikea, they're so good. Mm, I'm not usually really big on vanilla. Vanilla is one of the first scents, just like the color yellow and bananas that human babies distinguish. That's why a lot of people aren't a fan because they've been inundated with it so much. Fun fact, I'm always listening to pods. Speaking of pods, I listened to some mindful ones today and some that weren't mindful, but the theme of everything, including my workout, was be grateful. The Aloe Yoga workout dude, I think his name is Jossie, so if you have Aloe, moves app you know what i'm talking about all throughout the workout today he's like a five four three two be grateful for your body that can work be grateful because other people don't mm, did i crack this no that's just the just detailing this one is like if i could read what it said i could tell you but it's I refuse to burn it because it's so pretty do you have candles like that where you don't burn them because they're a whole vibe this is a macaron scented candle it smells so good, but it's so light and so faint. It's really disappointing. That's the next thing. I hate buying candles. And then when you finally cave in and burn them, there's no vibe. This one's really good. I don't know what it is. My mom gave it to me. I think this is one of my favorite ones. It smells like a tropical vacation and it looks like a tiki lamp. I love it. When I had seen this a few months ago, I ended up caving in and getting this one instead. It's rosemary baguette. And it's a scent I never thought in a million years I would get. 
but it literally smells like a baguette at a French bakery with rosemary tossed on top. Mm, it's so good, guys. I wish moments like these that there was a way to portray scent through the screen because I can describe these till the snakes. No, that's not the saying. I was going to say until the snakes come home. That's not a saying. This one that my godmother gave to me and it smells so fresh. It's called sweater weather. It's not giving sweater sweater. <laughs> say that three times. It's really not giving sweater sweat <laughs> sweater weather. It is not giving sweater weather. It's giving very cool and crisp though. So I guess no, just no. And then I'll explain this one day, but not today. This is empty. If I really love a candle, I know this is so dorky. I will boil water to get the last bit of wax out and then I'll use it as a tea light candle. So sometimes I switch up the vibe over there for my backdrop with that. This one, I actually got as a gift for someone, but the situation fell through. So this candle is giving floral laundry, not a scent I would, myself would buy. Another one that's part of a gift that never got given. It's just here. While I'm here, I might as well reorganize everything. <gasps> I said reorganize, not bash, mash up the ting. See, tea lights in there. This one used to smell like, <laughs> what happens when you smell too many things at once? This one used to smell like coconut. I wish candles were self-replenishing. Like as you burnt it, somehow it just, I don't know what I'm saying. Let me just put this away and I'll check with you guys later. We can't even sit Happy Monday. Typical day. Start off with the gym. We are supposed to be done, apparently. Mass is over, but our friends are allowing organizations to decide whether or not they want to keep the mass going. So I'm interested to see who and where reacts to this. It's slowly starting to warm up. I would go out for another walk, but your girl's got to get the vlog up. So I'm going to focus on that. When I'm done, I'm going to go and get flowers. This is my mom's birthday today. It was so cute in that cafe. We were the only people that weren't retired. That's for sure. But we met a really sweet couple. I think I'm going to keep this bag because I'm going to use it tonight. Or maybe I'll switch it. I don't know. And they were so sweet. It's just nice to meet sweet people, you know? Especially as the city is slowly getting back to life. But anyway, let me wash my hands, take off my coat and my sweater. <sighs> the only thing about chilling at a cafe is you start to smell like espresso after a while. <laughs> these are pretty. What are these ones? I really like purple. Those are pretty too. Are roses too much? They're so pretty. Okay. Something in my spirit tells me I should do a little bit more than what I'm doing right now. Like this is giving to today, today, earlier today, loungewear today. Maybe I'll throw this on instead. It goes, cream with cream, and then the sweater. I feel like that's a little better for dinner with the fam, right? But it is with my sweater because I'm freezing. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong in all cream, right? Giving rich auntie. Who's auntie? I don't know, because I ain't got no nieces or nephews, but let's go. Always. Always. Thank God I'm only a block away. Stupid subway shut down every week or something. 
Get ready with me, chit chat while the dry shampoo does what it needs to do. I don't think dry shampoo works on hair like mine, to be honest, but I figured I got a sample of it. I had it for a year, might as well give it a try, especially since we're pushing wash day at this point. I'm gonna do a hair intro on the roster for today. Two pods, because I was so tired when I came home from dinner with the fam. It was so cute seeing my mom. I was so tired after dinner last night. Thank God we met up at 6.30. I was having, surprise, surprise. If you've watched the vlogs, you already know what I'm gonna say. I was having weird dreams. When am I not having weird dreams? This one was about camera settings. I don't know why. I mean, someone did try to hit me with the Nikon scam. I don't know if any of you guys have ever received that, but if you're a content creator, the newest big thing is to send out an email that's crafted like you wanna collaborate and you're on behalf of the company. They send a link to click so you can pick what the item is you want, but it's not a catalog. Basically, it's a bot or something that downloads onto your system and crashes your computer. Luckily, that hasn't happened to me. This is the season when I get the most requests for collaborations. You don't see them because I decline 99.9% .9 of them. No, I'm not gonna advertise your gaming chair. No, I'm not gonna advertise your wig. I'm not gonna advertise your color contacts or your really cheaply made clothes. So many far-fetched requests. Do you go through phases if you wear makeup where sometimes you use the same products or you do the same routine and sometimes you switch it up just for the sake of it? I think I'm gonna do something about the switch up for today's podcast. Maybe the private one, but I wanna keep the private one fresh. So maybe I won't talk about that actually. It's my favorite day of the week. Why do I have a favorite everything? Favorite color, favorite number, favorite day of the week, favorite snack, favorite cuisine, favorite cafes in the city. Stay tuned for the reels. I'm gonna start posting my reels and TikToks on Instagram. No, obviously they're already on Instagram. On shorts via YouTube. So if you start seeing a lot of vertical videos, no, your girl's not lost her mind. She's just repurposing her content. So Have the non dairy one now? Yay. Let me turn on the light. The sun is just setting now. I'm so excited. This is a sign that the summer is coming. Okay, let's not even skip the spring because apparently it's supposed to snow again this week. But I'm here for the longer days, okay? The fact that it's 7 45, I think that says 7 45. I can't really see from here. <laughs> the fact that it's around 7 45 and the sun is still kind of out because I can see blue in the sky. Well, not really, but okay. I'm just excited that the days are getting longer, okay? I finished my pod a little late. Usually I try to have them up by five. <laughs> Clearly that didn't happen, but it's okay. I had to redo it. It wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I'm gonna make dinner. I was gonna make spaghetti. Then I realized I only had capellini, so that's not happening. I am so happy past Alicia decided to cut and freeze all these veggies because I'm not in the mood to do anything. I'm literally just gonna put these in the pan and call it a day, okay? Using anything I got from the grocery store today. But if I didn't go to the grocery store today, I would have found an excuse to get some takeout because I'm craving sushi. So I even made rice a few days ago. Past Alicia was really thinking of today. Guys, it's Pilates, I hate Pilates, but it's good for the core, so. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm more of a yoga girl. Workout complete. I got this sample from Lush. It smells so strong. Might as well try it out now. Staring at the screen all morning. I'm gonna take a little midday break. Otherwise, I'll be staring at it all day. I have to come back, do my affirmations for Patreon. I'm halfway through my editing, so I think this is a perfect time to just 
wheel back the chair and get out of here. I'm gonna get my nail fixed. I had told her that this nail was broken and she's like, oh, it's okay, I put the shellac on top. No lady, like you need to glue it together. 24 hours later, it broke. So I'm gonna go back, even though that was a week ago. Cause I warned her and just said, and it's snagging on everything. So that'll get me at the house. I'm so obsessed with cashews. It's a problem guys. And this container too. I have to create so much content today, guys. And then I have a lot of non-YouTube related stuff to catch up to too. I love that I'm wearing my warmest turtleneck and it's supposed to be spring. I went and got some kombucha. I think I showed you guys. I don't even know half the times until I'm editing what I didn't accidentally delete because if you guys only knew, how much more of a vlog there usually is, but then when it's time to edit, I'm like, where's the footage of accidentally deleting? Bananas as per usual. The seat here for later. For this week, I think I'm gonna take a break from beef. Meanwhile, I'm listening to a podcast about Unami. I remember the first time I heard that term, I'm like, what's that? I don't know what this says. I don't know. I know this one's ginger because I zoomed in. I'm not really a fan of kombucha, but I'm hoping that this will help with whatever is going on in the GI. I'm gonna have another tea. I was so tempted to go to a cafe. I had Googled last week. It was in the neighborhood of where I got my nails fixed. But I said, girl, going to cafes are supposed to be a treat, not a daily activity. I also have to finish this water. I'm so bad with water. I get good, I drink a lot, and then one day I forget and then I fall off hard. Peeling a potato, and do I not break the same nail all over again? What a waste of my time. Uh, God. Today is not my day. I'm making chicken dumpling soup at 9 o'clock at night. That's right. Good thing I already ate already. I think I put too much. really good you know what this is giving the red part of those rocket blue white red popsicles good i've been so obsessed with the glass aesthetic that i haven't used my actual latte mug in so long i miss this mug mm, so good vanilla chai matcha that's where it's at i love how vanilla chai matcha was my gateway to chai lattes because i hated chai back in the day that's what i'm telling you anytime you think you hate something give yourself a couple months maybe even a couple years like me and try it again this video is brought to you by, just kidding. Imagine, I wish Curl Keeper would sponsor me. They're one of the only brands that I started this channel with a decade ago that I still use. So, I mean, if you wanna holler at your girl, let me know. What's your favorite curl product though? I can tell you which one isn't my favorite. I had high hopes for Uncle Funky. I heard good things, but this ain't hitting, which is why I'm overusing it in today's reel. I love this Kalahara. I think it's, I don't remember the brand is, but if you see the bottle that looks like this, I'm telling you, get it. It's the same price as Curl Keeper and Not Today, which is my favorite curl cocktail. And it is A1. It's not a day one, but it's an A1. So anywho, I'm gonna drink my matcha. I already had breakfast. I did yoga this morning. I kept falling out of every single pose, which is why I didn't show you anything. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I have a lunch date. I'm just trying to confirm the time, at least in my neighborhood. So I just have to throw on pants, not these Kim's boxers. I'm just laughing at Kim. People getting mad at her for saying what she said a couple weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago now? I'm like, what do you expect it from someone so privileged? Of course she thinks working hard got her where she is. She doesn't know anything else. We 
the people at the bottom can see and rationalize what the people at the top go through, but the top never try to. They never try to understand what we go through. So all the people that are outraged and mad about her, I mean, I talked about this on my pod last week already, but quick rant here. Quick rant here. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, but don't take offense to it. You already know, working hard is not the only thing that attributes to success. I talk about the other things in my podcast if you wanna check that out, but that's how life goes. I kind of feel like a dummy though for spending so much money on skims last year. Just making the rich richer over here. wasn't it it was very weak and it tasted burnt almost would not recommend i hope my uncle enjoyed his matcha latte though i thought about getting one of those but since i already had a matcha this morning but i shouldn't have had coffee that late anyway i'm going to clean up my house a little bit a little, little little bit ah that was so good to get out of the house a little longer than i thought i would i thought it would be like an hour and a half it's after three, so I have a lot of work to do. It sucks that it's been an overcast day all day. Like, we're spring, hello. Apparently it's supposed to be super cold tomorrow. I need to figure out what to do with my hair. <sighs> so much better. Even though sweats are comfortable, I just, I don't know, I guess because I was wearing this earlier, I just wanted to throw that on and wrap my hair up. You know what, all things considered, I'm happy that we went there because I've been meaning to go there for months. I had no idea if it was a vibe or not, back on my class room. And you know, it's always good to try something new, even if the new doesn't turn out that good. Even when I went to the restaurant for lunch, the menu had changed. Everything that I would normally order wasn't on the menu and then I ordered something that I saw that was familiar that I hadn't had in two years. Ew, why am I wet? What's going on here? Oh, is that from the milk? Gross. And I looked on the menu for something I really liked. They didn't have any more, so I ordered the next thing I was familiar with. When it came to the table, I was like, uh, me zooming into the phone to see the menu, I didn't realize that they simplified it. So it's called a green poutine. And it sounds gross, but I'll describe it to you. So it's vegan cheese, which is actually not bad because usually vegan cheese is disgusting. Kale, green onions, a few other veggies, and then of course the fries to make it a poutine. But I don't know what's going on with this panorama. They done took off all the greens, and this is supposed to be like a vegan restaurant, by the way. And just put vegan cheese, and I think even like fake meat, which I didn't even get to because I ate one bit of the fries, and I'm like, wait, something's missing. So I wanted to send it back, but my uncle's on this whole no waste tip, so he actually took it to go. And then I ordered these, actually, I actually took a video of it, but these cauliflower tacos that actually tasted so good. I didn't expect them to be that good, but if you like fresh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anywho, the more of this story is it's always good to try. Sometimes you think something is not gonna be good and maybe it isn't, but you won't know until you try, right? But what does it smell like that? This pillow but it really does take up a lot of space on this small sofa anyway morning loves i went to the gym this morning didn't show you anything the cleaning people were in there while i was there so i thought that'd be super awkward anyway i want to talk to you guys about a show i haven't mentioned this to you guys before but i've been watching a show i finished it yesterday called i may destroy you that show trigger warning deals a lot with trauma I wouldn't advise you watching it if you're in a dark place or you're not settled with your demons. Watching that show, I had so many thoughts. I wish that I had friends that watched the same shows as me since there was so much to discuss. Guys, I don't even know where to begin because I don't want to say anything in case you haven't seen it. I feel like if I say the slightest thing, it's going to tip you off for what's happening in the show. And part of viewing the show in its experience in its entirety is almost like the violation the character goes through. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but they did really well. And then it popped up on my feed that Atlanta is back. Yesterday was the 24th. I had no idea it was coming. I just heard buzzings of Atlanta only having two seasons left. I've never heard of a show, not air for what, two, three years, come back 
and then announced they only have two seasons left. Like what? Something's missing. I don't know what it is, but the cherry blossom isn't hitting the way it used to. I haven't been here in so long. I was lost in the sound is so peaceful. Beautiful people. Okay, maybe I should quit my day job because singing is not it. <laughs> I went to a cafe, I didn't even bother bringing you guys because the vibe was so off, the chai latte was so bad. It's weird because I've been there many times before, I don't know if it's because I usually go on weekends, but even the people that were in the cafe were looking at me weirdly, like, I know I'm young black girl with curly hair, but don't stare, that's not nice. I went to the plant shop and I was about to leave without getting anything, like, oh, you know, plant lady vibes, but nothing really hit. And I saw this tucked away at the bottom shelf in a corner. And I said, hey, this looks very similar to the one that died after one week. So let's hope since it was in such a weird place, it doesn't require as much care as that one did. <sighs> Pray for it. Pray for me. I'm going to have a really late lunch because I was not hungry before I left and I didn't want to force it. Oh, by the way, when is this expired? I have the worst habit with yogurt. I forget about it and then the day that it expires I have a four pack like mm. anywho tonight's gonna be a very boring one I have no plans so I don't even know if I'll just check in with you guys tomorrow morning I'm just in a weird mood I think it's part weather part just a friend called me with some bad news you know you just feel for people so yeah I'm just going to keep it low-key tonight Morning loves, hope you guys are all good. I'm in such a big mood today. I'm ready to conquer the day of car baking up in here. It's so great when I came in here, all the lights were off. I said no one did work out before me. What's going on? I don't know if it's because I'm a mass man day or what. I hope one day in this lifetime they find a cure. I don't know how we're gonna use this. If you're legally blind and you're used to being legally blind, let me know down below. mango pineapple banana and hemp hearts clearly what's going on this is what happens when you leave your hair puffy for a day usually the same day i wash it it's the same day i straighten it but i was so lazy yesterday i was like no nah, nah, i'll do it first thing tomorrow and now look i can't do my own hair what is this casca say at least i got the volume I'm not mad at the poofiness. It's more the fact that it's not as straight. I don't like it when it's like Asian pin straight. It looks like I blow dried it. So much for soap press. What is this mess? I'm gonna put it in a uh, low bun. I'm gonna run out and run a few errands. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bruv, this broken nail is really getting to me. I've been watching too many British shows. I got some kefir because the kombucha was not doing what it was supposed to do. This, hopefully well. I mean, it should because kefir is pretty gross if you ask me. I love me some Greek yogurt. It has to be coconut though. All the other flavors suck. I got a new spice jar. Maybe one. And then you saw all the other goodies I got from Bulk Baron. I got some almonds, chia seeds, because next week it's going to be all how I stay healthy. I need to get back on my A game. I think this is Nyom Nyom Nyom. What a funny name for a trail mix. This one should be Garden of Eden, if I remember right. I was craving pecans. Don't ask. I literally got a handful of pecans. And wasabi coated peas. Do you hear that crunch? Oh. Hot. I love it though. I love me a bulk barn. They need to open one in the neighborhood. They opened up a next Dollarama. That would have been perfect for a bulk barn. Whatever. I'm gonna make some soup 
and a turmeric latte. If you haven't, get subscribed because next vlog is going to be a whole health vibe. Okay, in order to make a turmeric latte, I need some oat milk. Turmeric, of course. But first, let's finish off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? There's a lot going on in this fridge. The first, soup. Oh, I feel like I was the worst vlogger today. I just started doing stuff. Ginger, nutmeg, all the warm spices, coriander. Imagine if I put coriander in there. No, 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 no. What is this? Oh my gosh, you know you're getting more blind when you can't see what you wrote last time. I think it says all purpose seasoning. Yo, I might have made that label a month ago and I already can't read it. Shucks. Tarragon. You know I've only used this twice. Here we go. That bright yellow color that we know and love. I'm ashamed to admit this, but I secretly love that Coil Ray Nicki Minaj song. It's not for me. Where's the thingy? Where's my little spoon? I'm pleased to admit that I like to do this the super lazy way. Come closer. To make the perfect turmeric latte is to do it in batches. So I'll do one half now, so at least one teaspoon. Kind of just eyeball the situation. I like a lot of cinnamon. What can I say? I like to play with a little fire. Cayenne pepper and a hot chocolate. Sounds disgusting and weird, but trust your girl. If I was having chocolate, when Lent is over, I'm gonna do that. A little bit of ginger goes a long, long way. What am I saying? Just a bit of nutmeg, because nutmeg is a trip, eh? I remember when I was little, my great grandma used to make porridge from scratch. I think I told you guys that, but did I tell you she used to put cinnamon and nutmeg? Oh, nostalgia. And every time I talk to her, she's like, I can't cook anymore. I can't do anything. I don't want to be like that when I'm old, but I think that's life. When I was first diagnosed, I was in denial, but once I accepted that I was legally blind, I'm like, what am I going to do? So I think that's the same thing she's going through. sounds crazy literally it sounds crazy as I'm putting the pepper on and it's crushing the foam but it it does something for it just trust me but here is really good for anti-inflammation tastes really good too Bing bong. what a difference a shower will make I swear a hot shower is my favorite thing on the planet this hair though some things you should leave to the professionals. I used to be really good at flowering my hair. I don't know what happened. It must, 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 must be that I left my curls for a whole day. I bet you if I had straightened it right away, my hair would be on flat, flat. But then I'd be complaining about it not having volume. What a catch 22. Anywho, one story I forgot to tell you guys is on the way downtown, besides this shuttle bus situation, it was so weird. These two guys got on at Lori Young Station. They started talking about spirits wherever they lived. And there were hood guys too. So, so funny to hear hood guys talk about spirituality. I'm like, that's when you know we've globalized. And then there was this person, I don't want to misgender because I don't know what they identify, clicking back and forth between the cabins. And usually the homeless people do that as they're panhandling, but this person was screening obscenities. And the whole time I'm thinking, my noise cancellation clearly isn't working because I shouldn't be able to hear the hood guys talking about spirituality or this person ranting themselves while someone else is chasing them down the train. It was just, it was a lot. Anyways, clearly I got where I needed to go and back safely, but I just thought that was so bizarre. I swear, Toronto, no, no, scratch that. The world gets weirder every day. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. It's just a quiet night. I'm gonna listen to a couple pages of the book I'm reading right now and call it a night. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, aka next week for you. So if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe for more. And until next week, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. This wrapping situation is really not working though. That's when you know you did a good workout. Anyway, night night.